Hey everybody, welcome back. This week for our half ass game review, we're looking at Grounded. Finally went to full release after over two years. Comes from us from Obsidian Entertainment, same guys who gave us Outer Worlds and uh, the Stick of Truth. <laughs> Going a little bit of a different speed this time it looks like, guys. The game is what happens when Ark and Honey I Shrunk the Kids got together and call the storks and make babies. Over the course of two years we've gone from an almost complete game already. Seriously, this thing came out to us like we had access to almost a full game compared to like other games like Sea of Thieves that came out and were bare bones nothing almost. And that was a full release. It took like almost two years after its full release to actually get anything fun to do. And after the two years we ended up with pretty much way more game than I ever expected. The multiplayer experience in this game is pretty awesome. It has a pretty unique little feature where if you are with other people, the bugs will scale up in difficulty, but if you leave them and go further away, uh, well, they get scaled back down to how they would be in single player if you're all alone. Are you at the top of it? There's somebody... There's somebody missing on the side of that milk carton. Wonder if it's us. It's one of us. One of us. One of us. Now getting into the crafting system. There is crafting. Crafting is mostly like other basic crafting systems with a kind of a little bit of a difference where if you don't have all the materials cre uh, created that you need, but you have all the materials that you would need to create those materials, because some stuff re requires you to make something before you can make another thing. Well, while you're in the main blueprint, you can you can move your cursor, whatever you're using, controller or mouse, uh, over to the, the thing that needs to be made first and make it within that blueprint. You don't have to exit out of the blueprint, go to another blueprint and make the thing, go back into the original blueprint and remake. You don't have to do all that. It's a lot easier than that. And of course, in order to learn the blueprints, you have to earn science points through uh, finding them either or uh, by going and taking materials that you found and researching them at the little dome things you see scattered throughout the map. Now that's all the good. Well, I mean, maybe not all the good. There's still plenty more to talk about in this in this game. But, you know, me, I only go so far. Let's get to the one thing that I do kind of find to be bad. Uh why is there such a lack of customization on the base models for the characters? I, I understand that you wanted to keep like the character names and keep the characters specific for a story purpose. We couldn't change how they're dressed at all. We couldn't do anything with that. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. Everybody these days wants some form of like customization. They want to look different. They want to be themselves. They don't want to have to conform. So stop making us conform. But all in all, it's a pretty great game. That got a good amount of love and development. Hopefully we'll continue to get that love all the way through its full state now. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more. Now I'm going to go jump in a pond and fight a koi fish. <laughs>